One of the software's turned app products of Adobe is Illustrator. In today's video, we will learn more about both Savage Interactive's Procreate and Adobe's Illustrator and compare between them and hopefully help you figure out which one is the best for you. Create unique characters and their world through ideation and practical exercises that can be applied to various media. This Domestica course is presented by Nathan Jurevicius, an illustrator, filmmaker, toy designer, author, and concept artist. Follow along as he shares his personal approach to creating unique and meaningful characters and how to envision and create the worlds they inhabit. Nathan worked with huge brands and companies from all over the world, such as IKEA, Kid Robot, and Hasbro. Throughout the course, you'll learn how to gather your reference and how to form your thought maps. You'll also learn how to formulate characters and their worlds to help you generate your own engaging universe. And as you venture deeper in this course, you'll learn the steps of what makes a good character and how to imagine the world they inhabit through different techniques and mediums. At the end, after finishing your project, you'll see how you can assess your work and determine what could be improved. Nathan will also explain how you can stay motivated in your personal and professional life. If you're interested in this course, you'll find all the necessary links in the description box below. Let's start by taking a look at the two applications in a general light. While Illustrator's history goes way, way back, I'm talking 35 years ago, the app was released only two years ago, more precisely on the 20th of October 2020. The app is only available for iPad OS. However, there's a version of this app that is available for Android. We use the word version here very lightly. The app in question is Adobe Illustrator Draw. It's basically a very watered down version of the real deal. The Illustrator app is part of Adobe Creative Cloud, meaning it's only free for people who pay for a subscription with a plan that includes Illustrator. Otherwise, you'll have to pay around $10 a month. Other than that, this software turned app is so popular, we don't think you need an overview over it except for the fact that it has been discontinued on July 19th, 2021. The irony though, I spent half a minute talking about the app just to tell you that most of its features were moved to Fresco. Anyways, let's move on to Procreate, shall we? Procreate is a software developed by Savage Interactive for iPad OS and iOS. It's a raster graphics editor, meaning you cannot create vector art in Procreate. The software's latest updates included the option to make simple animations, as well as 3D printing. You can import 3D models from Blender, for instance, and use Procreate to paint on them. First released in 2011, the software still thrives today. The software is not free. It costs around 10 US dollars. However, as the price tag shows, it's not as costly as Illustrator. Naturally, the interface of the app version of Illustrator is very reminiscent of the desktop version, but with more of a swift and light touch to it. Think of it this way, Illustrator but a lot more compact, with a much more minimalistic look and feel. This can be a truly amazing element for artists who are already familiar with the desktop version. Now you can have it with you everywhere you go. The main elements of the interface are two bars on each right and left side with a variety of tools. The top bar has very few buttons, and the middle of the interface is where your canvas lies. As mentioned before, the design of the buttons is very sleek and clean looking, and the presentation of the tools is kept brief, which makes for a compact look. This doesn't take away from the familiarity of those who use the desktop version, making for an extremely user-friendly experience. The simplicity is also very helpful in delivering a user-friendly experience to those who are using the software for the first time. It's worth noting that the app resembles Procreate's presentation, which seems to be the trend for a lot of other iPad drawing apps. Interface aside, let's explore this app's tools. One important thing to know about this app is that it does not have all of the tools of the desktop version. 
It does, however, have the core ones, which allow you to do most of your graphic design work. On the left side, you have the selection arrow, key modifier tool, the pen tool, pencil tool, text tool, shape tool, and within which you can find additional options and features, such as the color wheel. When a shape is selected, a small gray bar with additional options appears. You can use it to modify the opacity of the selected shape, for instance. It also includes an option that allows you to change the layer on which the shape is to have it be in the background or the foreground. There are plenty of other tools and options on the right side of the bar, such as layers, sliders, where you get to modify your stroke and adjust it, precision docker, where you can snap a shape to a grid, for instance, and shape builder tool, where you can combine shapes and modify them in so many different ways. Another feature in this app is the use of hand gestures for certain actions. For instance, tapping the screen with two fingers will undo your action while tapping the screen with three fingers will redo your action. Once you're done with your design, you can save it in multiple formats – AI, PSD, PNG, SVG, and PDF. Procreate is pretty straightforward, potentially a lot more straightforward than Illustrator. Procreate has a brush tool from which you can choose your brush. It has many brushes, but you can download new ones, make your own, or modify an already existing brush. Procreate also has a smudge tool, eraser, and layers with regular layer options such as merging, duplicating, clipping, blah blah blah, and so on. Naturally, the app also has a color selector. In it, you're presented with color selection sliders and options. The arrow tool moves your drawing around your canvas and transforms it. There's also a selection tool and a magic wand tool. When the latter is tapped, it presents you a list of editing options – blur, glitch, noise, and so on. As for Procreate's wrench, it has all of the app's canvas options. You can insert a picture, file or text, or crop, resize, export, and even get a speed paint video of your artwork. The sliders are used to determine the opacity and size of the brush or eraser. You also have redo and undo buttons that can also be activated using two fingers and tapping them on the screen to undo, or three fingers and tapping them on the screen to redo, just like in Illustrator, or just like in Procreate, should I say. The theme of this app's tools is basically a lot of options packed within one icon on the screen. The interface colors are all black with white icons, which are very reminiscent of Illustrator. Again, or just like in Procreate, should I say. Being a desktop software turned app, the Illustrator app is the core of its desktop version with the most important tools. Learning about it can either be very easy and simple for you if you come from the desktop version, as it is exactly the same, except a lot more simple. However, if you're coming in completely fresh and new, it can have a slight learning curve to it, perhaps even more of a learning curve than Procreate, as Procreate is a hand-drawing app and usually, drawing can come naturally to people more than a design tool. This is because for drawing tools, you grab the drawing tool and draw. But for a design app, you try to use the pen and it starts making weird shapes. At any rate, Illustrator's learning curve can be quickly remedied by the grand well of knowledge, YouTube, of course. Procreate will most likely have a learning curve as well, but it's mostly slight in comparison to Illustrator due to the simplicity of the software and its features. Illustrator is a well-rounded graphic design software with all of the features and tools a graphic designer needs. If you're already familiar with the software and use it on your computer, you can get it for free on your iPad and take your graphics anywhere and everywhere with you. However, if you don't own a subscription to the Creative Cloud, this software can be expensive as it would cost you roughly $10 a month. Procreate is an amazing digital painting and drawing software. It's extremely user-friendly. The app is being constantly updated. Lately, animation and 3D painting options were even added. 
It's not as costly as Illustrator and doesn't require a subscription. However, Procreate is only compatible with iOS and iPadOS. Procreate might have the brushes for calligraphy, but it's certainly not made for graphic design work. Although both are apps for creatives that can be used on the go with the compact iPad and Apple Pencil, it's important to point out that these apps are used for very different purposes. Procreate is mainly used by illustrators to hand draw and paint digitally. Illustrator, on the other hand, is funnily not for illustrators, but graphic designers and graphic designers only. I might be exaggerating a bit, but hey. You can't do graphic design in Procreate and can't do hand drawing and painting on Illustrator. Debatable, but hey. Procreate's design abilities start and end with calligraphy. The app has some amazing calligraphy brushes, but that's it. If you're a graphic artist, do yourself a big favor and use Illustrator. And if you're an illustrator, Procreate is your guy. That's basically it. With that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.